What is going on, guys? It is your boy Pat Proverbs here uh, over on my friend Kyle's channel. And as he kind of introduced, we are doing the, I guess, alternative series where you're presented with two alternatives in any facet of life. Um, and we ask one another to respond to them, to those alternatives, to choose one side or the other and give as much evidence or support for whichever side we chose and why. So the first episode he had asked me, would I rather go skiing with three friends for $300 or would I rather go to a lake with one friend for $550? Now, water sports are fun, fishing's great, but I would have to go skiing and I've had a blast renting a ski house in the past with friends. Um, and because money's not really an issue in this case at all, neither of them are overly expensive, um, I'm going to have to go skiing, and I think this was like a pretty simple question to kind of like get you guys used to um, kind of the way this series works. Um, so I'm going to take it up a notch to the hypothetical here, and my response to Kyle would be, now that you know I would go skiing with three friends for $300, hands down, had some of the best times of my lives renting a, a ski house with friends, um, I'm going to step this up a, a whole lot uh, of seriousness, the, the, the seriousness level, as well as obviously guys, this is a hypothetical question. Um, so here's my scenario for you, my two scenarios, and I'm going to ask you to respond as best you can. I'm going to present you with as much, as many of the surrounding factors as I can. Um, so let's just say any accident, I know you guys have probably seen Final Destination or one of those. Final Destinations, um, disgustingly gruesome accidents, um, really one in a million chance of one in 150 million, the fat tail event, it's probably never going to happen. But let's just say, theoretically, because that's what this video is, something of, of, of one of those magnitudes, some kind of disaster happened. Um, and basically, I would title my question or my alternatives to you, uh, blood or water? And here's what I mean by that. Let's say three of you, I know you have a brother, we're not going to use him because that's disgusting. We're going to use the theoretical brother. Um, and your girlfriend and you are in some kind of god-awful, again, made-up guys for the, sake of, for the sake of this video, hypothetically, some god-awful car wreck. And everyone was wearing their seatbelts, like good human beings. Um, and the car is pinned, and there was an oil tanker in front of you. Um, you see flames coming up the road. You have 20 seconds to react to this. Do you save your brother, your blood, or your girlfriend, water, who also could probably mean the world to you? Um, trust me, I, I'm, I know. They, they can mean the world to you as well, obviously. It's such a hard decision, and that's why it, it's almost kind of unfair to ask. But here's the catch. Now here's the gauge of selflessness, and I know this is hypothetical, so it's going to be easy for you to respond with, oh, well, that's a no-brainer, here's the answer. You can either save either of them individually with a 100% success rate. So you could save your brother, 100% chance of saving him, you and him live, or your girlfriend, 100% chance both of you live. Here's the catch, and this is statistically significant, as they would say, or you could sacrifice yourself knowing that it was certain death for yourself and have a 75% chance of saving both of them. Both of them escaping the scenario unscathed, unharmed, alive and well. But it's known that you're a goner, like hands down, like you're accepting death to save both of them. 75%, it's very statistically significant. It's, it's that's a very good probability. Now, here's the last part of this. That 75% chance of saving both, sacrificing yourself does net you saving one of their lives, but you can't pick which. You have no say in it. You have a 75% chance of saving both, or by you sacrificing yourself to the situation, accepting certain death in this case. Um, you will save one or the other, you just won't have control over it. So you can save both, or one of the two randomly generated. Um, a hundred percent. Um, that's a sick question. I don't know how I, ah, uh, 
Don't ever ask me that question, actually. That would be, it would be too hard on me. But, that being said, I would go skiing with three friends for $300, probably up to Northern Vermont, Jay Peak. I really enjoy it up there, and we'd have an absolute blast. I hope you guys enjoyed my hypothetical blood or water question. It's something to think about. Um, I'd be intrigued to see what you guys have to say in the comments. I'd like to thank Kyle for having me on episode one, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon in the near future. Um, if you guys want to check out our Call of Duty pub stomping channel, the link to that is in the description as well. Come support us, come hang out. We like to talk to you guys, and take it easy.